This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are testing out the benchmarks for the Galaxy Note 8. Now this is the prototype version, so please know that. This is also the Exynos variant because it is a prototype version. And yes, that's why there's a piece of tape up there and you'll be seeing tape on our phone for a while, just so no one gets in trouble, especially the marketing manager that helped me get this. All right, so let's go over these four different parts. So first we'll go over what's exactly inside of it. Then we're gonna test out Geekbench, 3D Mark, and Antutu. And I also have my S8 Plus to compare it to, and we're gonna see if they're about the same, keeping in mind that this one, again, is the Exynos version, whereas the S8 Plus is the Qualcomm version. So, in terms of which phone this is, again, this is the Exynos variant, 8895. Oops, man, I hit an ad, great. Um, 6.36 uh, 6 inches or 6.3 uh, as Samsung is claiming it. This, all of these were ran at the WQHD uh, or Quad HD uh, display. So full 1440p, did not do 1080p for any of the tests, so just know that. And of course, six gigs of RAM. So far, uh, how much storage have I used? I've used about 20% it looks like, so yeah. And one thing I like, with everything running as normal, it does look like I'm consistently getting over two gigs of RAM now free out of the six, which is great compared to every other Samsung I've had. All right, now let's check out what Geekbench posted. And it did not save it, I guess. Nope, it did not save it. Oh, history, here we go. All right, so I did run, I did run it twice. And they were both about the same, but 2,067.97. And I don't know. No, Geekbench, you can't uh, test out um, comparing to others, but you can look it up and always see this uh, version compared to others. And we're gonna go over the SA Plus comparing to it as well. Now, for this one, it, it got 60, uh, 26, 10 which is fairly below other Samsung devices that came out this year. Um, yes, I know it's not on this list, but... I don't know why it's not showing now, it was showing earlier, uh, but again, I'll go over that in a second. Uh, we'll leave this up so we can compare it to the S8 Plus and show. This basically ranked below a lot of the flagship phones uh, when it comes to graphics. Again, pre-production, but just know that. Mm -hmm. And for Antutu, which Antutu is acting very weird, it scored a 17, uh, seven, 174, 277. So pretty high, not the highest though, with uh, this kind of configuration. So it did score above, slightly above the S8s um, and the iPhone 7 Plus and the um, Sony and the 3T, uh, uh, OnePlus 3T, but it did not score higher than the U11 or than the OnePlus 5. So now let's compare it again to real life phones that are being actively used and not some that are maybe tested in perfect conditions or anything along those lines. So now let's go back to Geekbench and see if Geekbench loads. Great job, S8. It's having some issues. There we go. And let's see, so this was the difference uh, between these two in terms of scoring. And again, both are on the 2K Quad HD display, so both of them are at full resolution. And then let's check the 3D mark, just so you can see that this one scored much better better, uh, which makes sense. Qualcomm is supposed to have the better graphics between the two processors and variants of the phone. But 
I don't know why this list, uh, they must have some issue right now because this list was showing fine earlier. Uh, basically, um, this fell in line more of what the phone was uh, currently at. So the S8 does fall in where the S8 normally falls in at, at this uh, configuration. However, the uh, Note 8 fell way below normal expectations. Um, as you can see, it's a, about a thousand difference. So way below the normal expectation. And as far as Intuitu goes, this is where the Note 8 definitely scored much better comparing to this version of the S8. Now again, these both have everything on the phone. So I didn't test it right when I got the phone, when there was nothing on the phone, because I want it to be as real as it gets. And I feel testing it when it has everything on there is more beneficiary for you guys. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't, as we will cover more on the Note 8 than any other channel on YouTube. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.